My F28 husband, M31, is forcing me to quit my job after an altercation with my supervisor. I need some advice on how to talk to him about this. For some background I have a supervisor at work who is very eccentric but is very nice. He is known as the co-worker who is always joking about and doing strange things in the office. I've told my husband about some of the things he has done and even he finds it funny. Like one time during what he calls a monthly, pep talk, he gave me a pair of boxing gloves for, beating the shit out of inefficiency, he has never done anything inappropriate, even though some of the things he does are for a place and time, I have had no problems. I was showing my husband something on Instagram and he could see the profile picture of my supervisor come up on the stories section and asked who is that, because at this point he has never actually seen my supervisor. There's no way of dancing around this, he is an attractive man or at least what girls consider attractive. I've never looked at him that way, it's just an observation. I think this is what caused my husband to get angry and ask all these questions like why I'm following him and he even took my phone to check if I ever messaged him, I haven't. He was extremely cold to me for the next few days. Today at work when I came back from my lunch break another co-worker told me that my husband came in and had a fight with my supervisor. I find out that he tried to beat him up but my supervisor defended himself and my husband ended up in the hospital. I haven't seen him yet as I'm not allowed to go to the hospital under COVID regulations, but I FaceTimed with him and he told me either I quit my job or don't go back home. I don't want to quit my job but I fear I won't be welcome there anyway because of what he did, but in the chance that I am, I would like to stay because of how hard it was for me to find this job and all the progress I've made. I don't want to leave my husband either over something so stupid and I wish he would come around. I basically need some advice on how to approach this. He has never done anything inappropriate, even though some of the things he does are for a place and time. What the hell does that mean? Your husband literally came to your job to assault your boss because he's jealous that you're working with him? This is psychotic as hell. It shows he doesn't care about your hard work in this career, and that he is happy to derail it over completely unfounded jealousy. He doesn't trust you, he doesn't respect you, and he doesn't care about your life and goals. Is he even worth staying married to? You don't want to leave your husband over something so stupid. Are you for real? Your husband committed a crime because you work with a male human. He has now given you an ultimatum and is demonstrating extremely controlling behavior. Leave now. No matter what you choose to do at your job, you need to leave your husband who's abusive, controlling, and obviously mentally unstable. Your husband went out of his way to start an unprovoked fight with your boss over his own insecurities. Tell him to grow up or he can not bother coming home. This is his issue that he needs to deal with. I hope you still have a job. Your husband is jealous, controlling, violent and abusive. It's a no-brainer, leave the husband, not the job. You'll need the job to pay for your own place. Get all your stuff from the house while he's still in hospital. So your husband was cold to you because he got jealous over you doing nothing then he drove to your place of work and assaulted your supervisor? I really hope this is fake but if not you 100% need to leave you husband that's crazy, controlling behavior. I feel as though something is missing. You claim your husband never acts this way but all of a sudden he shows up at your place of work and starts a physical confrontation with your boss and then demands you quit or else you aren't welcomed home. Your husband went from 0 to 100 in a few days and most people just don't do that all of a sudden without any warning or prior signs of this type of behavior. Are you seriously asking for advice? Your choices are, keep your job and financial and emotional independence. Or, quit your job and return home to an abusive, piece of shit controlling, violent man. Unemployed and under his complete control while also sending the lesson that what he did was fine because he got his way. You really need help deciding? Info. Why the hell, in a million years, would you not want to leave your husband for showing up at your work and trying to fight your boss because he thought he was hot? How is that not a boundary for you? Your husband is an idiot and hopefully got his shit rocked hard enough to knock some sense into him. You should go to your boss and profusely apologize for that circus your husband put on in full clown attire and do what you can to make sure that you still have a job. I'm sorry but. You need to leave that man. As soon as possible. Edit boy. This shit sounds so fake and made up. I agree with literally everyone else that your husband is an insecure, violent, controlling, jealous, man-child and you need to leave him. None of his behavior is okay. But am I the only one who finds it funny that he went to your job and your lunch break? 
Like he made sure you weren't there before he had his temper tantrum. He planned the whole damn thing out over the days he was cold to you. Say it with me, his physical assault on your boss was premeditated. Wake you nine and leave his sorry ass. Honestly, you need to leave your husband, what he did was beyond stupid. If my wife did that to me, I'd be filing divorce paperwork right now. Please apologize to your boss and let him know you had no part in this. Please consider divorcing your husband and in that paperwork he assume the legal and medical debts for this incident. Right now both of you are on the hook. That incident could have cost you your job right then and there, in addition to your boss sending him straight to jail in the hospital. So now your family has two bread earners out of commission plus a pile of medical and legal bills. Your husband is lucky to only just be in the hospital. If he had jumped the wrong person, he would dead. Please apologize to your boss and let him know you had no part in this. This can't be the first red flag. That story escalated super quickly. Review your relationship for other red flags. Your husband is aggressive, abusive, controlling, and violent. You need to get out before he turns on you, because it's clear he has zero boundaries and thinks violence is a way to address his jealously. Red flags everywhere. File for divorce, go to your supervisor, apologize, and tell him you hope that you haven't lost your job, because you needed to pay for your divorce lawyer. Encourage your supervisor to press charges, because that's the kind of paper trail you need. I would also file for a restraining order. Before he gets out and returns home. He came to your work and tried to fight your supervisor. You can get a restraining order for that. Then refuse to move out. He can find somewhere else to stay while the divorce is sorted. Nothing about what he did here is sane or even remotely okay, and he sure isn't going to change. Take care of you. If his ultimatum is, quit your job or don't come back home, shut that controlling bullshit down right now. He either quits his bullshit or you threaten divorce. He's attacked an innocent person over his own jealousy. Not much he can do if he's hospitalized anyway, so if he's still there, start making some preparations. He could move on to beating you up next if you don't comply with his false narrative. He would rather leave you homeless or without an income. He is not about to feel remorse or apologize. I think this story is BS. 1. The average man wouldn't show up at his wife's place of employment to beat up a man that is more attractive than he is. 2. Your husband would have been arrested for what he did. No question about it. He trespassed then assaulted someone. Standard protocol would have had you husband arrested. So this story is for farming karma or it's a half-truth. Could it be 100% legit? Sure. But I doubt it. You are not safe in this marriage. He went to your work to beat up a man he'd never met because you follow him on Instagram. What do you think he's going to do to you when he finds out you don't want to quit? Leave. Run. Find a friend who is capable and willing to put your husband back in the hospital if he comes to hurt you, and stay with them. Pack up all your stuff while he's still in the hospital. File for divorce. Leave before you end up dead. Your husband got jealous by the fact he believes your boss is more attractive than him. He went to your place of work. He assaulted your boss, and lost. He has embarrassed you. He has humiliated you. And he thinks the solution is to give you an ultimatum because this is your fault somehow? Today at work when I came back from my lunch break another co-worker told me that my husband came in and had a fight with my supervisor. I find out that he tried to beat him up but my supervisor defended himself and my husband ended up in the hospital. You sure he's actually 31 years old, and that wasn't just a typo on 13 years old. I think you haven't told everything, but if you did your husband is mentally ill. But then if I go to my wife's job to confront her boss, into a fight, I have a pretty good strong reason to risk my health and freedom over it. I don't know, and he never did something to crazy before. When your, husband's, name Roy is and your, supervisor, is named Jim and your Pam. What does some of the things he does for a time and a place mean? Your husband is dangerous, and is trying to control you. That he turned up at your place of work and tried to assault someone because, they're good looking. You need to realize that he's abusive. This isn't even up for debate. Don't even give a response. Your husband made an ass of himself and put your job in jeopardy. If your husband continues to, force, you to quit, do him a deal, he finds you a job equal in pay and conditions to the job he's demanding you leave and you'll consider it. Get up each morning and leave for work. Don't argue, don't even discuss it. Respond with the same line, you made a show of yourself, that's on you.
I don't want to leave my husband either. Your husband went to your place of employment and assaulted your boss because he thought you were cheating with your boss, based on absolutely no evidence. If that's not a good reason to divorce a spouse I don't know what is. Leave. Him. This is a huge red flag. Change the locks and get an emergency restraining order. ASAP. You are in danger. Red flag. Your boss is attractive. Husband does not like that. Husband becomes violent over some pictures. No non-work contacts. The ball is on your court. You should leave now. Before he tries it on you. And don't quit. Also since this is a documented incident with the cops. There is a lot you can do. Also your job can't fire you over what your husband did. That's not something stupid. Your husband is violent, controlling, insanely insecure and abusive. How long until he turns on you and you're the one in hospital? Such a violent overreaction that the physical appearance of your coworker is completely unhinged. Ignoring this is how you end up in a 20-year-long domestic violence relationship. The man went to your work and beat up your boss to deal with his irrational jealousy. He committed a crime because he's jealous. If he tried to beat up your supervisor for no good reason, what's there to stop him from beating you up? I think your husband is a violent person and not safe for you to be around. He's also trying to financially abuse you by making you quit work. My ex-husband beat and bloodied my friend with a wooden katana for similar reasons. Leave him. This behavior doesn't change. I'm 22, and I would very bluntly leave my husband for this if I had one law. I would be absolutely mortified to find out my husband went to my job because he was jealous that my boss is hotter than him. That's absolutely absurd. Info. What happened? You husband showed up, walked up to the supervisor and punched him. What was discussed that caused this is the ultimate result. Have you talked with your supervisor about this incident? It never hurts to get both sides of the story. And hash x200b. Who is always joking about and doing strange things in the office. We all need more info on the supervisor. Does he specialize in making sexual comments at all the women and covering with a, just joking lol? You need to leave your violent husband. He tried to beat up your supervisor to assert himself, as a man, and he got beaten up badly enough for hospital. He isn't even sorry, he is giving you an untime at him. That can mean next time he gets angry, he might find it easier to take the anger out on you. How about if you have kids? Would you want your sons to think it is okay to behave like that? Or your daughters to think it is normal to be with someone who is jealous and violent? What if your children made a comment he didn't like? Would they get a slap or a punch? He has a police record now. Leave. No one would blame you. So you are even for a second considering going back near that abusive, violent, jealous, dangerous, unhinged husband of yours? Honey first thing you should do is get a restraining order not talk to him. You don't want to leave him over something so stupid? He went to your place of work to attack an innocent man for no reason other than you follow him on Instagram. If you stay with him don't say you've not been warned that your life will be hell and misery and this will only escalate. This is abuse and manipulation. He can't give you ultimatums and tell you to pick between him and your job. I stayed with a jealous and controlling man for years and he never acted this way. Had he done this I would have left him immediately. When someone behaves this way it does not get better. He sees you as an object to control, not a person. I suggest you find somewhere to stay and talk to your employer. In a couple days you can give your husband the ultimatum that he change his attitude and get counseling or you walk away. Go back home and take out a restraining order so he can't come there when he gets out of the hospital. Fake as shit. I think there are many things that are omitted here. No one goes 0 to 100 that fast without triggers. I think there are more to it that op is not telling. Something triggered OP's husband to get ballistic against the supervisor. But if any chance that it is true, op must definitely leave her husband. Because you know what this sounds like if we switch the husband's view. One of those, wife is getting close to co-worker, threads. The ones with, my wife works for company A. She then starts talking about her boss doing stupid stuff they find funny. I was okay with it but then he gave her gift. One time his profile pic pops out. He is an attractive guy and then it suddenly clicks. All those stories, gifts, etc. This sounds exact like that. If you're going to write fiction, why not write something interesting and unique instead of something that sounds straight out of a bad TV drama? I don't want to leave my husband either over something so stupid. He assaulted someone for no reason other than he was attractive. 
I'll write that again in case it wasn't clear. He assaulted someone for no reason other than he was attractive. Wake up. Your husband is violent and controlling. If you leave your job, you'll be solely dependent on him. And now that he thinks you may have been cheating, do you really think he's not going to keep thinking that? You are free to make your own choices, but don't be silly, don't stay with a violent, controlling man who assault people cause you'll be next. I really hope this is a joke because you could be fired so hard. Like what? What? My husband has joked about beating people up who upset me or whatever but he'd never fucking do it. Your husband is weird and abusive. Take your husband up on his offer. Dude is nuts. Leave this man. I don't like to jump to divorce but this is a start to something way more. You quit this job and he will never let you get another job. Or you do get another job and he finds one small thing and you have to leave that one too. He's dangerous, plain and simple. Who in their right mind goes to their so's job, and proceeds to try to fight their supervisor. Over jealousy. Try and see if anyone in your family or if a friend will take you in for some time. You don't deserve to be treated like this. What would be the point of quitting your job? What if there's an attractive guy at the next job? Or just a guy your husband thinks you might find attractive? Are you somehow only going to work with women? What guarantee would you have that he wouldn't then start imagining you're attracted to one of them? At the very least your husband needs some serious counseling that level of insane jealousy and instant violence is way, way not normal. If he flips when you tell him you're not quitting your job, you need to run. Seriously, have someone there with you or at least on the phone with you when you tell him so at least they can call 911 if necessary. Be safe. LMFAO what kind of pansy is your husband? All of this because he thought your supervisor was attractive and he felt intimidated. And to top it off he goes to your job and starts a fight and gets his ass kicked. Rolling on the floor laughing rolling on the floor laughing rolling on the floor laughing tears of joy tears of joy tears of joy.